Autonomous trucks aren't as far off as you might think, or hope. Global automotive supplier ZF believes such trucks could be in the field and working as early as 2023. They likely won't be maneuvering through cities or down twisting mountain passes. Rather, they could be doing yard work or serving as a second or third truck in a platoon. Equipment editor Jim Park here. We're at the Transportation Research Center in East Liberty, Ohio, where ZF demonstrated some basic autonomous vehicle capability. The scenario here was the truck was inside a terminal, making a trip through the terminal on its own while the driver was outside the truck tending to other duties. So now I'm going to simulate like the driver actually getting down the vehicle. Right? Okay. So the driver's getting vehicle ready, to get ready down for the vehicle. automated driving. So please system engage has, system. System has detected that and it says, okay, it's ready for automation. Please engage the system. So I'm going to engage the system. Automated driving starting. So I'm just going to buckle back in as I'm in the truck. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now that I have given the control to the truck, and um, my hands are off, my feet are off. In this scenario, the truck followed a preset route through the terminal based on GPS coordinates. Using differential or high precision GPS, the truck could be steered to within a few centimeters of an object. So positioning, for example, a cement mixer below a loading hopper would be pretty easy. Once the truck completed its run through the terminal, it returned to the starting point where the driver could climb back in and take over. So now the truck has come to a stop. I don't know if you heard it, it said it's ready for the driver to take over. Let's say the driver is in the brake room. He heard that in the monitor that's actually inside the brake room. So he can, you know, come out and then uh, get in the truck. Driver takeover detected. You know, the truck has given the control back to the driver now. All right, so he can just do his trip sheet, whatever that he wants to do. And now he can actually basically do, you know, take the truck out of the terminal. Okay. The low speed operations that we uh, demonstrated, like, you know, the low speed longitudinal control and the steering control. This algorithm, you know, uh, but it's, you know, same thing that we can use for traffic jam assist or ACC stop and go, you know, with both lateral and longitudinal control, right? So this kind of supporting both revolutionary and evolutionary approach, right? So traffic jam assist and ACC stop and go are on the evolution path. It's an important thing. But we want to do like, you know, a revolutionary path. We have redundant steering systems supporting those to